Welcome to Everyday Cooking with Ann. I'm obviously not Ann, I'm Mr. Ann. And today we're going to do pralines and cream. This is basically a vanilla recipe, which Ann has already made. There's a video on that, and there's a link in the upper right-hand corner to go to vanilla ice cream recipe. It's actually very easy, uh, and I'll do a recap for you, because the Olympians at YouTube have decided that we should do videos of 8 to 10 minutes, and the truth is, you can make this ice cream in about four minutes and put it into the ice cream maker. That's all it takes. It is very, very easy. To recap, all you do need to do to make vanilla ice cream is put in two eggs, you mix them up till they're frothy, and as the mixer is mixing, you add in one cup of sugar, a pinch of salt, uh, one to two teaspoons of vanilla, and whip it together. And when that's whipped together, you put in one and a little more than one and a half cups of whipping cream and one, uh, one and a half cups of milk. That's it. Then you just put it into your ice cream maker, and there you go. So I'm going to give you a little bit of history. Anne can obviously make this ice cream as well or better than me. The problem is she doesn't always make the ice cream uh, when I want it, so I had to learn to make my own ice cream. It's very easy with this Cuisinart. This is the easiest way to make ice cream. When I make this, it's... Uh, well, let me go back into some ancient history. In the uh, 1970s in Santa Barbara, the Baskin and Robbins decided to take pralines and cream off their menu, and they had protests up and down the street until they put it back on. That's how good this recipe is. And let me tell you how in my family, we've always been ice cream lovers. When I was 14, I started working out. So I had some friends over to start lifting, lifting weights. And after that, I said, well, let's go down to the freezer and uh, get some ice cream. He opened the door and he counted 13 varieties of ice cream. He hasn't gotten over that till this day. However, these days, we no longer buy store-bought ice cream. It is much easier to actually make your own ice cream. So right now, I'm going to get the ice cream. We pre-made the vanilla. If you use the vanilla ice cream right out of the can, it's so soft that it will melt quite a bit by the time you stir in the ingredients. So I put it in the freezer for about an hour so that it won't all float to the bottom. Another thing is we cooled the we cooled the caramel sauce so that if you don't cool that when you put it into the ice cream it'll go like a it'll go through the ice cream like a hot knife butter the other thing we have is we have we've cut up some pralines for those of you who don't know what a praline is it's basically a candied pecan it's a big southern specialty now Anne has a recipe for making uh, pralines and she'll show you that later in one of the videos because she puts them in a lot of salads but this one here, if you, you can buy it at either Trader Joe's or you can buy it at Costco, and it makes it very, very easy. The way we use everyday cooking with Anne, what it means is you can cook every day on one of her recipes. It is so easy and it is so good that anybody can make it. And this is one of those recipes. Here's the ice cream we took. It's been in the freezer, and what we're going to do is we're going to start dishing this out and put a layer on the bottom. Uh, this may slip because it's hard to hold. So we're going to put a layer on the bottom and then we're going to add some caramel and we're going to add some pralines. So we will add a handful of pralines and you can do it to taste. And then we're going to add some caramel sauce and what we'll do is we'll cut through it like this so that it will spread out and not all be in one place. Now we're going to add another layer. And we've let this get a little bit harder so that it won't all float to the bottom. And we're going to add a little more caramel sauce. We're going to cut through so that it is not all in one place. Then we're going to add another layer of nuts. and we'll stir those in and we'll do another large layer of ice cream of caramel and we'll
I'll stir that in. We'll add in some nuts. We'll add the rest of the nuts. We'll mix them in and we will cover up the rest with the rest of the ice cream. Now we, the last time we made this ice cream some friends came over to visit and we gave them a bowl and they were so inspired he had to go out and get his own ice cream buy Ann's cookbook to get the recipe and make his own. He said it was the best ice cream he has ever tasted. And that is it. We're going to, going to put it back. We'll put a little more caramel sauce. Tuck that in. You can see it's already hardening up. And what we're going to do before we take this out and have a bowl, we're going to let it harden up so that it's it will all come and not all fall apart into pieces. So we'll put it back into the freezer and we will come back in an hour or so and have a bite. I went for a walk let the uh, ice cream harden up a little bit. I came back, I was going to show you a nice canister of nice ice cream, but my wife had three bowls while I was out. So let me show you to scoop it up and show you the, with the nuts. And there you go.